Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Brogdon and welcome back to the Mobile Ads Garage. Today, with the help of my intrepid partner, Gary the Graphics Guy, we're going to cover the AdMob plugin for the Unity game development platform and show how to use it to display rewarded video ads. But first, I have a really important announcement to make. Thank you, Gary. If you saw our previous episode on rewarded video, you know that when that format first launched, it was only available through mediation, and AdMob didn't have its own ads to display. Well, I'm happy to say that after so many of you guys went out and implemented rewarded video in your apps, that's changed. You can now go to apps.admob.com, create a rewarded video ad unit, and with no mediation required, get live ads directly from AdMob's advertisers. So if you're not using mediation, you don't have to miss out on rewarded, and if you are mediating, that's one more network competing for your impressions. Okay. Today, we're gonna to put these new rewarded video ads to work in a Unity app, so let's talk about that. Unity has a cross-platform game engine that lets you write apps once in C Sharp and then compile them for a number of different platforms, including Android and iOS. AdMob created a plugin to make it easy to use the mobile ads SDK with Unity. There's a single C Sharp interface for publishers to code against, and then under the hood, the plugin takes care of communicating with the native iOS and Android SDKs, so you're actually dealing with the same SDK that you normally would, but doing it with calls into C-sharp classes. The plugin offers banners, interstitials, rewarded video, and native ads, and it's been around for almost four years now. That, that's true. I was just a poor boy back in Ohio when version 1.0 was launched, so it's pretty battle-tested at this point. Another nice thing is that the whole deal is open source under the Apache license. So if you're curious about the code base, you can actually clone it. And if you want to try tweaking how it works, you can fork the repo and hack away. And speaking of hacking, let's get into the editor and take a look at how to import the Google plugin into a Unity project. Here are the steps we're going to cover today. If you've done rewarded with our native iOS or Android SDKs, these are going to look really familiar. The Unity plugin sticks pretty well to our native interfaces, which helps keep things simple. All right, let's get right to it. Time to get into the Unity editor and import the plugin. Okay, so I've got a simple app here. It's just got two buttons, one for requesting a video and one for showing it. So that was my scene. And I'm gonna go up to Import Plugin in the Assets menu. And I'm gonna go find the package that I downloaded from GitHub. You can get this right on our GitHub repo. And there's all the code in it. I'm gonna import everything. So I'll just go straight down to Import and hit the button. And there we go, I am now imported. Now I can come in here, and this is the script editor for the scene you were just looking at. And I can start referencing some of the stuff that's in that namespace. So Google Mobile Ads, I can do a using up here, and Google Mobile Ads.API. There we go, plugins imported. All right, so that's how to get the plugin into your project. Now let's put it to work, loading and displaying an AdMob rewarded video ad. All right, so here are the five steps again, and we're on getting the singleton instance. So rewarded video ads is backed by a singleton object. And within the script for my app, I'm gonna go and make a private member right here for reward-based video ad. And in the start method, I'm gonna grab an instance of the singleton and store it there for later use. There we go. All right, so that's two down, three to go. Next up is loading an ad. And so I'd like to wire up that first button, request rewarded video to a function that'll load an ad for me. So here in the on GUI method, you can see I've just got a simple GUI here. It's just the two buttons, and I've got a couple of event handlers down at the bottom. And there's the one for request reward a video. So I'm just gonna drop in a function call here, and I'll call it load reward based ad. And I need to define that at the bottom. So let me put that in here. So it's just a private void member that I can dump some code into. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna paste some code in here. It's gonna look like a lot, but we're gonna talk about it. So AdMob, as you know, uses separate ad units for iOS and Android, but Unity can compile for both. So what I've done here is use compiler directives to make sure that I'm using the right ad unit for each platform. So if I'm building for Android, my string ends up being the Android ad unit. And if I'm building for iPhone, my string ends up being the iOS ad unit. There we go. All right, now I can just drop in a load ad call on my reward-based video ad object. And I need an ad request, which I can build using a builder interface that should look very familiar to anybody using Android. It's the same kind of fluid style and all the same information you can put into an ad request for the other platforms you can use here. We have methods for it. Cool, so that's one through three. Now let's try showing an ad. So I have that second button and I wanna wire that up to show. 
So I'm going to pop down here and I'm going to add a new function call. And I'll call, uh, call it show reward based add. And I'll define it right down here. So another private void member, show reward based add. There we go. So the first step here is to see if I definitely have an ad loaded when that button gets pressed. I can do that by calling is loaded right there. And so if I've got an ad at the ready, I can call show and up pops my video ad. If I don't, I'm just going to log a, log a statement here to say, hey, don't have an ad yet. There we go. Cool. So four steps down, one step left, using events to get the reward. So one of the nice parts about the Unity plugin is that it's open source. So you can actually go in and look at what's going on. There's the reward-based video ad class, and I'm looking for the events in here. There they are. So these are the public events exposed by this class that you can use to know what's going on with your rewarded video ads. So I'm going to grab those events, and I want to make handlers for them. So I'm just going to cut and paste these just as a shorthand so I know which events I'm making handlers for. There we go. I'm just going to paste these in at the bottom. And what I'm going to do here is create handlers for each of these. And I'm just going to paste this in because it's a lot of code. There we go. So where I used to have the events themselves, just as a shorthand to know which ones they are, I just dropped in handlers for each one. So I've got a handler for on-add loaded, on-add failed to load, all the way down to on-add rewarded and leaving application. So this is how, uh, like you'd use a delegate or an ad listener on Android and iOS, this is how you get these events on Unity. Cool. So I can come in here and I could put a reload in here on uh, add failed to load. In on ad opening, for example, I might want to pause the action if I've got a game engine going because I know I've got an ad that's being displayed. And in the others, all the normal things you'd usually do, like an on ad started, you might want to mute your audio. Uh, in on ad closed, you might want to kick your game engine, you know, crank the party back up, get it going again. And this is the one I'm particularly interested for rewarded. This is on ad rewarded, which gets called when the user has completely viewed an ad and deserves a reward. So let's put some code in here just to log the reward. Uh, you do get a reward object as the arguments, and it has an amount and a type just like it does on iOS and Android. So you get both a numerical value for the amount of the reward and a string that represents the type. And those are the same values that you'd put into the apps.admob.com front end. There we go. All right, so I've got these methods ready. Now it's time to get them wired in. So let's go back up into the start method where I'm grabbing my instance. I'm going to drop a block of code in here. It's going to look like a lot, but we'll talk about it. There we go. So all I'm doing here is adding my methods as listeners for these events one by one the C sharp way using the plus equals operator. All right, and so those are the five steps. We've covered all of them at this point. So I can run the app and let's see what the log says. There we go. So I'm running my Unity app. There goes my ad request. And I finished loading. And there's the reward in the log. One reward, which is the default for this ad unit. All right, so that's a working Unity implementation for AdMob rewarded video ads. That's going to do it for today, but I've got some links for you on the way out. First up is our GitHub repo for Unity, which has the plugin plus some samples. I've got a link to our Get Started guide as well. If you're just setting out with Unity and AdMob, these are great places to start. We've also got guides for individual formats. Here's Rewarded Video and Native Ads Express, but you can find guides for banners and interstitials too, right next to those on our developer site. And as always, you're welcome to bring your technical questions to our support forum. And if you've got an idea for something you'd like us to cover in this series, or a question about what you've just seen, leave a comment below, and Gary and I'll see you next time.